Our boys at me here. Owen! You ready? What are you doing, dude? So we're doing a Hawaiian tie-in. Why? Well, first off, we have a Zinsco panel. Zinsco, I had PG&E one a minute, but they're no good. But they also won't let us move the gas line. So what do we have to do? We actually have to come in, run wiring from the main all the way through the attic. We actually have a poor soul in that attic right now. It's pretty hot. And then we run the, rerun the wiring to a sub panel. Why do we do that? Since ghosts right here have what's called an aluminum bus bar. They don't trip. There's issues where they don't trip if there's a surge of energy. So what we're doing is we're gonna move all breakers except for the main into a sub panel. New sub panel will have new breakers. So if there's a surge of energy in the house, it will actually trip that breaker. So we're, A, we can do solar in a safe rate because we'll tie the solar in there and every single breaker in the house will now be safeguarded by a new sub panel. Um, some people will just tie into the, uh, the main. We also have an issue of this is a 100 amp service with a 100 amp bus bar. The new sub panel will be a 125 amp bus bar with 100 amp main and we can actually do our up to 50 amps at that point because we're doing what's called a load side tap anyway we'll have more to come here all right we're back uh, we completed the hawaiian tie-in here so as you can see here we moved all wiring well you can't see it now that it's not exposed right over here and now we have a 125 amp bus bar, 100 amp main, which allowed us to add as many amps as we wanted to the solar system here. And what also what we have is it's a, a much safer system now. If you think about it, all breakers here lead to the house. Um, if there is a surge of energy, these breakers will actually turn off now. So when we're finally finished, tie everything back to the original service panel we still have a zinsco but the only thing that's in place now is the main which is tied directly to the sub panel here so if there's any issues we have a reliable brand new service panel um, and also ability with a larger bus bar and that's why we call it a hawaiian tie-in um, a lot of people ask why is it so expensive um, it was definitely a hefty procedure.